I Build Giants by Ryan Stevens, presented by Shakespeare Company at UCLA, directed by Aaron Gray. The engineer, glasses, professional, idealistic, not conceited, just convinced. The technician, anarchist, DIY aesthetic, explicitly they them. The astronaut, lives for the chase. The executive, never not had money. The volunteer, former factory worker, optimistic. The monitor, former NASA researcher. The ace, 15 years old, pilot. Entry 722. Testing will commence once OS build completes. Brilliant. Out of every brilliant thought I have had, and I'm not being arrogant, they just were brilliant, but this is truly brilliant. <laughs> this is bigger than a thesis. What's a PhD when you're changing the world? After all the tests, all the failures, now, now at last, I understand. The logic is this. We build machines with forms that follow their function. Four wheels are more stable than two, so we give cars four wheels. Bilateral symmetry, pleasing and reasonable. Larger trucks are made to haul larger loads. Tanks are in volatile environments, so they have thick armor. Video game controllers feel a little like plastic, like the toy they are, but a little like metal, like a real gun or sword or wheel. Form builds around the function. But sometimes we overdo it. We build these things that are nothing but their function. A crane is its arm. A smartphone is its screen. All elements flow to this prime functionality. But our usual avenue of intelligent design neglects the happy accidents of evolution. We only ever reproduce our design in matters of simulation, prosthetics or recreations for aesthetic purposes. But what about the function? Why don't we appreciate the harmony we have in us? How intuitive it is to stretch your legs. How good rolling the shoulders feels. The external artifice to increase our own sense of self, our own human functionality on a grander scale. Accentuate our positives and expand them into giants. I'm sure they'll be called robots, but this is wrong, of course. A robot is, though not sapient, autonomous. From the Czech robota, forced labor, or rabu, slave. This is not will being overwritten or imposed. This is a limitation being annihilated. It is not a replacement for our human bodies. It is simply an augmentation, an external means. It's not a correction just an assist. First principles. Humanoid structure, bipedal, standing on two legs in an upright posture, uses two arms, each with five articulate fingers. Proportions retain humanoid silhouette. Uh, <laughs> Rubenesque figure, weight approximately 400 tons. Maximum speed thresholds will be very low. 
more time to consider every move. Maybe that's a mercy. They'll be nearly useless in combat capacities, thank God. The human is not the key that starts it. The machine is not the engine that turns. They are both the ignition and they are both the fuel. The interface will supplement the user's biological needs and the user's neural pathways will guide the operating system. And together, the user and interface will be stronger, move faster, reach further, and be more. Every limitation surpassed. We are living specimens of harmonious design. And so will these machines be too. Made in our image not due to vanity, but out of a common vocabulary. Because of course, what is the human body with its difficult upkeep and arcane limitations, but a tool for the brain to interact with the world? But beings need names, names that set them apart from the rest of everything. There is me and there is you, and what is by definition is not something else. The color stays inside the lines, so what are the lines? We've established robot is incorrect. What to call them? Mech feels too dispassionate. What are they? Greater skins. Outer skin. Greater outer device? No, no, no. Greater outer inter... System. Greater outer system. Greater outer system for what? For... Oh. Greater Outer System Manual Reach G-O-S-M-R Gossamers <laughs> Cute The weave of blood vessels Soft folds of the brain Thinnest of thread Gossamers I like it when, in the future, I return to these recordings, in times of stress or confusion, I will hear my voice and I will be frustrated with my old self, for not foreseeing all of the problems I couldn't have foreseen. But my future self must remember, I understood, and must continue to understand something greater. This is going to work. Finally. <clears throat> This is Appendage Synaptic Response Engine, Configuration KZ09-T44, Build Theta, Attempt 1. Compiling Biodata. Synchronizing with subject heart rate. Replicating heartbeat mirror successful. Something to remember where you came from. Baseline established. Synapses aligned. Nerves average. Beginning sync. Commencing muscular test. You are perfect. You are real. Gossamer Unit 01, the high point. Gossamer Unit Luna, the moon above us, orbiting always, finally in reach. Gossamer Unit Luna. Good morning. Something brand new. Something incredible. Something bright and shining and unseen. The inventor, a bright young engineer, says to make the human construct work on such a scale, we must expand the shape, but not change the vocabulary. Evolution before our very eyes. The prototype is coming. A new age of invention. Soon. So you think you made a breakthrough here? <laughs> These massive new hands to sculpt the world. Quite a called shot. It's impressive, of course. But what comes after this? What happens with this technology? Do you realize what you have? One day you're fixing American bridges, the next you're shilling for a shopping website's new delivery drone. There isn't an element of society in the world that wouldn't benefit from this. If they could afford it. 
and all the investors you have now, they're not funding you because they want to save the world. They're funding you because, ooh, cool robot. They're funding you because it's shiny and new and it will be in everyone's mind. I watched your video. Of course I did. The entire privileged world did. I was in awe. And it gave me this burst of perspective that we are, sometimes, amazing beings. We put people on the moon, we share information in an instant across the globe, we build cables that run under the ocean, we recreate whole ecosystems in video games just because it's appealing to see. We can do anything. We can do anything. But we don't. We could solve world hunger, but we don't. We could live without hunger, without debt, without malaise, without companies and masters, but we don't. We just do not do it. This video must be strange to get out of nowhere, but please, listen to me. This is too important. You have got to keep this out of the hands of any larger interest. You have to keep your dream on the ground level. Raise it any higher and someone will take it away. Ask any cancer drug ever. Your dreams and your designs will only be supported so long as they can be co-opted. I hope you've realized all this already. I hope you're smarter than I think you are. But if you aren't, well, we'll see. I'm building things too. Not an outer shell, not an extrapolation of scale, but an extrapolation of capacity. You shouldn't have gone bigger. Bigger is easier to notice, but harder to spread. Go deeper. I hope you didn't mind the rigor of our tests. Ma'am, after what we went through for NASA, not much phases me. <laughs> That's good to hear. So you've reviewed all the material. I know it can be dense. If it wasn't, it wouldn't be physics, would it? It all makes enough sense if you look at it for long enough. I guess I have a few questions. I know you've gotten this a lot, but the way it looks, why give it, you know, hands? <laughs> well, I guess I might be a little bit of an auteur, but it felt like a good way to, to move the concept of the pilot or the operator forward. You aren't moving a crane with a hand on a handle. You aren't pushing the gas and the brake pedals with your feet. Their hands flow from your hands, their legs from your legs. It's not just about output and joules of force. Sure, it kind of is, but it's also about rethinking how we are in context with the machine. Okay, so I guess I'm not as smart as I thought. <laughs> when I went up to the ISS, I remember thinking, this is impossible. <laughs> what this is, us shooting out, breaching what we call Earth, and landing on something that isn't even landed, not a full planet or a moon or anything, just this suspended waypoint, completely its own. That's not even the stuff of science fiction. That's the stuff of miracles. It is outside of anything possible. If I get to pilot this gossamer, Doctor, I bet it will feel something similar. I'm happy to hear that. But one thing, just so you know the right term, you won't be a pilot. Not a pilot. The Gossamers won't have pilots, per se. You will fulfill the same role that a pilot does in a more traditional machine, but the term pilot is, uh... Again, I think it's about context. Maybe I'm being obtuse, but the word pilot just didn't sit right with me. So what would I be called, then? I've been thinking of you as a seam. A seam? A place of joining between two pieces. I thought about calling you a needle, the thing that threads through and joins them, but that felt a little too physical, I guess. So you'll be a seam, the area of connection between skin and steel. We're speaking metaphorically, right? You're not sewing me into this thing, are you? <laughs> no, of course not. The interface is very subtle. The portion of the test with the various plugs and- um, Right, right. That's the current mock-up of the interface. The, uh, cockpit in more traditional terms. You might be the very first one to utilize it. First of how many? Oh, who knows? I want to move slowly. We'll start with just the one. Let you try it out and test the limitations in a real environment. Fine by me. Say, 
how many people you got lined up for this interview? Well, normally that wouldn't be something I could discuss with you. Normally. But I've made my decision. Just like that? Well, your physical results and your resume didn't hurt. Are you saying I've got it? I knew as soon as you spoke on space. I heard how you spoke of the impossible, how it pulls at you. It pulls at me too. I think the two of you will be great together. Luna walks, the world watches. We are witnesses. They called it a field test. Crisp morning air, the machine and the handler, the gossamer and the seam, we watched them come together. Watched her enter the chest and be sealed up. And then we watched it come to life. Jolting, not awkward, upward like a body waking up. So pristine and intuitive. The lilt of the neck, the roll of the shoulders. Watching it stride, watching dexterity in action. A forklift thumbing through individual wires. Unheard of, unimagined. Hearing its footsteps. The reverb and the gravity under the crunching of concrete. This was built. From miles away, the magnitude shaking the world through the screen. This power, this force did not fall from the sky or come from a storm. This was built by someone. This was built by this someone. This was built by someone just like us. Quite a weekend, wasn't it, gentlemen? <laughs> Where does an arms manufacturer go in this brave new world of ours? I bet we've all been having some vivid dreams. These gossamers are fertile. They're going places. I know they look clunky with a little junk in the trunk, and right now they might seem impractical. A one-trick pony and an expensive pony at that. But we all know this is an idea with capital. This is a grower and a shower. Maybe my second favorite invention ever. Behind money. Money was the final true great invention, of course. The very concept, the invention of meaning greater than a tangible thing. Bread is great because it feeds you. A coat has value because it keeps out the cold. But once we got money up and running, <laughs> Promethean fire. The language of making and unmaking the world translated to us in plain dollars and cents. We can make and make and make as long as we have people to make it for us. Humanity at its finest. The invisible hand. Our hand. Our way of deciding what's real and what has value. Unimpeachable. The pinnacle. These gossamers can be like that too. In the right hands. Paradigm smashers. All we have to do is get it on the ground floor. We don't want to trace this thing. We want the genuine article. We don't want a gossamer. We want the original thing. I can see the new fleets in the morning sun already. And I hear your concerns. It's untested. It's awkward. Where are the combat applications? All valid questions that we can answer. We can shape the world for this thing. We can make the people need it. We can keep them needing us. All we have to do is strike now while the ink is still wet. I have an in with the engineer's alma mater. She's gonna be at a conference next weekend and I will be there to show her just what she has on her hands. This is how we do what we always do. How we create what's next. We can't let this one slip away. This is where we're headed. All that's left to be determined is where we sit in the new world. I intend to sit toward the front. Let me start with the obvious. It's an honor to meet you. To be in the presence of such intellect. To breathe the air that powers the brain that built those things. Well, my goodness. You flatter me. You've earned it. This whole weekend has been a lot of kind words and gentle petting. It can be a little stifling. You want to get out of here, get a drink and talk whatever you want, jazz, movies, anything you want. The conference will wait for you. Who wouldn't wait for you? What company did you say you worked for? Oh, I'm sure you've heard of us. I'm afraid I don't think I have much else to say. I understand. It seems scary. But we're a big company. There's room for lots of new ideas, room for lots of change. The world deserves your absolute best, don't you agree? 
How else to achieve your best than with the best resources? Making something like this with your patchwork funding? That couldn't have been easy, could it? That's gotta be why you're at a conference like this, right? Grant after grant, proposals without end, so much budgeting. Not with us. The highest ceiling for you to really stretch those thoughts of yours. You aren't at least a little curious? You have debt, don't you? Of course. Of course. And doesn't that bother you? I'm aware of it, but I have the future on my side. That's just how I have to live. It doesn't bother me. Takes up a lot of mental space. All that awareness, doesn't it? We could free you of that. The only thing you need to be aware of is what you want. Ma'am, I want to do my work and build my gossamers. I want to do what I do best better than anyone before me has ever done, and I want to take pride in that. I hope you can respect that choice. What's respect? You have what we want, and we don't have it yet. We respect distance by recognizing it and closing it. We respected the distance to the moon, and then we stamped it with our footprints and our flag. I'm sure we can close this distance of ours, too. The offer stands, if you choose to let us in. Sketching something out? Oh, you snuck up on me. <laughs> Learn to listen better. What do you have there? Oh, just doodles. Letting the hands do the thinking for a while. These conferences, it's all talk, talk, talk. Stare, stare, stare. Think, think, think. I start to feel like I don't exist below the neck. Looks like a gossamer. Oh. Hmm. Maybe. I know you. <laughs> oh? <laughs> you sent me a video. The strangest email I've ever gotten. How did you find me? I knew your school, so I sent it to your first name dot your last name at your school name dot edu. Makes sense. After I hacked your school's records to make sure. Now that sounds like the person in the video. How have you liked your success? Oh, it's... Well, I wouldn't want to lie. It's gratifying to see them resonate with so many. To see the concept get picked up. It's nice. I imagine so. You did something special. You're going to change the way our brains work. I don't know about that. Think of life before the car. Before the smartphone. Before the telephone. These were things for which we had no frame of reference. But then an invention comes along and then someone says, let there be the new thing and lo, there is a new thing. And the world changes and the mind changes with it. I'm glad you're so enthusiastic about them. I remember you weren't as positive before. I never said these were good things. Excuse me? Just because something is a change, just because something is new, just because something hadn't been done before, that doesn't make the thing good. Not on its own. You're still scared of the gossamers. Uh, the gossamers? No, that is not what I'm scared of. I'm not upset that you didn't take my advice. I get it, really, I do. But I am scared of who gets these gossamers. Research groups, infrastructure repair, nonprofits. Companies, institutions, entities. And these entities are going to be the ones that point the gossamers at which situations deserve their attention and which ones don't. That is what scares me. These things are still controlled by committees, committees with money who want more. I hear your criticism. If I could, I'd build a gossamer for every project proposal that we get. But we don't have the resources yet. Frankly, I don't have the time to oversee them all. And I could delegate that part of the job. I could step back. But I won't do that. For this exact reason. To be responsible. The power of progress is for the people. For people, certainly. But when you say the people, you mean a people. Even when you don't mean that, the words do. And when you say a people, you mean these people here and not those people over there. You can't comprehend what will happen when you do step back. I won't. Who says it's up to you? My gossamers won't be anything but what I want for them. <laughs> They could be our next step. I always think it's funny when people like us, verified geniuses with degrees to prove it, end up saying or doing something that is just flat out stupid. Look at you. You built God on your apartment floor with a screwdriver and you have no idea. Any of your seams could feel like taking a joyride or sell it to Lockheed Martin. People are already trying to counterfeit you. Anything can happen, and statistically, that means it absolutely will. 
Someone watched them, and that someone will remember how you made them change, and they will chase that feeling. I respect your passion, and I thank you for bringing up these concerns. But I have the Gossamers, and I trust them, and I trust myself. What do you think they are going to do, if not leave you? They'll grow, yes, but they'll grow with me, and we'll grow into them. It's not just the world outside. The world we live in is filled with people and their agendas and their impulses, and that's a problem, certainly, but you said it yourself. We can change the way we think. We can broaden it. Do I think the Gossamers will do it on their own? No, but we can't let the fear of the unknown keep us grounded. This is going to bend us toward being better. I hope you understand. You're gambling with everyone's world. And when you bust, so many people will be harmed. Because you thought your arms were strong enough to hold the future. They're wrong. You're better than that. You're brilliant. We're brilliant. But just so we're safe. I'll never need to do it, but I have one more gift to give you. And I hope you never open it. Beautiful. Gossamer unit Cygnus, Gossamer unit Cygnus will stretch, will her, stretch wings her wings and, sit in, and clouds. sit in clouds and examine the sky above Test us. Test the atmosphere. Drop water on, Drop wild water fires. on wildfires. Airlift from disasters. Airlift from disasters. She will soar. She will soar. She will float. She will float. She will fly. She will fly. Full multi-axis maneuverability. Full multi-axis maneuverability. Automatic pressure Automatic adjustment. Automatic pressure adjustment. Augmented depth perception. Augmented depth perception. Ample additional Ample speed. Additional for evacuees. For evacuees. She will save the she skies. She will save the skies. Gossamer unit Delphinus. Gossamer Delphinus. unit Delphinus will sink and she will, will swim. Will sink and she will swim. She'll coast through She'll the coast waves. coast through the waves, tested for Mariana's, tested for Mariana's trench, trench depths. Can store a maximum two months can supply of oxygen. Two months supply of oxygen. Convert water Convert into water atmosphere into substitute. Convert water into atmosphere substitute. Emission free. She emission won't stain free, her home. She won't stain her home, but she can take but in can and take eliminate in and eliminate pollutants. Stimulate reef growth. Stimulate reef growth. Detoxify oil Detoxify spill sites. Detoxify oil spill sites. Purge microplastics. Purge microplastics. Delphinus will return the ocean to itself. Delphinus will return the ocean to itself. Gossamer unit sagittal. 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 We'll go beyond. We'll go beyond and explore beyond our known and universe. And explore beyond our known universe. Three dimensional deep space mapping. Three dimensional deep space mapping. Long range topographical Long scanners. Long range topographical scanners designed for multi year space exploration. Designed for multi year space exploration at speeds thought only Making speculation into fact. We'll carry over the air supply system. We'll carry from over the air supply system from Delphinus. Insulate cabin with endless cabin reconfigurations, with endless reconfigurations of failsafes and redundancies. Of and redundancies. Systems upon systems upon systems safety upon systems upon safety. safety upon safety. The journey to the furthest the horizons, to must, the furthest be horizons must be protected. Where the Hubble, Where the only, Hubble looked, only looks, Sagittal, Sagittal will, will touch, touch, and we will see how far the horizon goes. And we will see how far the horizon goes. This is the next step. This is how we go from the land to the stars. The Gossamers aren't done. We still have room to grow. Whoever marries you, Sagitta, we will take care of them. She's so nice, much nicer than I thought. I mean, don't tell her I said that. She always seemed nice, and you made her sound nice, of course, but... Wow, she really... The way her eyes light up? Yes! Uh, I can't believe you got this for me. 
Um, are you serious, NASA, NORAD, SETI Institute? You're, like, the perfect candidate. But you've actually been to space. Well, so what? Big deal. You've met one astronaut, you've met them all, but you are special. And a genius. I always feel strange about SETI. Right there on the page in big capital letters, this person got paid to hope aliens are real. It's prestigious. It's a tinfoil hat with a fancy name. <laughs> but it still got you the job. It shows you're not afraid of anything out there. I hope it shows I'm skeptical. All the other true believers might hear any sound rattling around up there and immediately cry, Aliens! They needed someone less eager for the unknown. Still, from what I've seen and heard, the math actually checks out. Somehow. Monitor and ground controller to Gossamer Unit Sajda on its premier voyage. And it might even actually happen. I can have your voice in my ear the whole time. I'm gonna drive you crazy. Ugh, nonsense. I drove you crazy on the ISS mission. That was different. Oh, how was it different? Well, for one, you were really a hard-ass about the airlocks. Um, those are very important. And also, I was trying to hide a crush on you then. Now that we know where we stand, we'll be good. I'm gonna do my best to drive you crazy talking your ear off because otherwise I'll go crazy down here without you. <laughs> See the moon? Of course. That's the first moon Neil Armstrong walked on. He walked on other ones? No, but you will. Can you sound optimistic? I know, it's strange. I might be. I'm not mad at anyone or anything. Honest. My body, like any other body, is built to break. We have a... What do you call it? The thing phone companies do to make sure you gotta buy a new one every few years? Planned obsolescence. We are built to break down, you know. Cells age, they die, we keep regrowing till we can't no more. These things can't go on forever. Still, it stings when your body doesn't show up for work. I worked at that factory for 19 years. That really isn't that long. My mom, she worked 43 years before she retired. Well, retired due to a heart attack. I've seen accidents. I know how it works. Slip up, slack off, get crushed. I mean... All in all, you know, I was pretty lucky. I didn't have to lose the arm, just can't do much with it. And, of course, I'm in the union, and of course we demanded compensation, but this was an especially bad time to get injured, see? The whole factory was on the verge of obsolescence, on account of new automated machines a few states over, where the tax breaks were. So, fellows at the office said I was about to be let go anyway. So they paid for a few weeks PT and told me so long. Sorry I couldn't shake your hand when we met. That's quite all right. You owe me nothing. Are you ready? It's gonna hurt. I won't lie to you. Subcutaneous injections of polymernet receptors to help you feel, triple threaded carbon bone substitute, insertion of muscle awakening microgenerators to coax out your mobility, biogelatinous prosthetics for soft tissue, magnetized calcium inserts, closed loop lactic acid management facsimile. We're pulling a lot out and putting a lot in, so yes. And I'm afraid painkillers would interfere with the transplant process, so you'll be feeling all of it. Bringing something back to life is certain to be painful. Oh, hell, that's okay. I don't want you or God or anyone to think I needed this, though. I live a life. I have routines. I'm used to this. The pain's my normal, and I do live with it. I want this to hurt. I want to make sure God knows I earned it. Uh, no need for all that. You earned it by living in the right time and being curious enough to answer when I asked. I like that. Yeah, I guess it's true I am curious about how the world could be. And what else I could do. We'll find out. 
I could tell you the specifics I've already told you, the figures and the projected results and what the implants are meant to do, but we won't know until we know. Alrighty then, Doctor. Ready when you are. You should know. Legally, I'm technically not a doctor. Uh, more of a technician. <laughs> Just as well. I've known plenty of machines with pissy attitudes like people have. Close enough for me. What are the odds? I can't believe I found you here. I mean, you're... you. First team to unit Luna, and now this? How exciting that must be. I consider myself very lucky. The opportunities that I found myself in. When you were starting out at NASA, did you ever think you would end up here? <laughs> oh god. How could I? <laughs> I've spent so much of my life being blown away by the world and then diving in. <laughs> Space is big. <laughs> That's what got me. It just continues. It is so deep and vast that your mind withers in the face of it. You're doing a brave thing. And your nation thinks you. The world thinks you sure. We're all watching you out there. We all can't wait to see what you do. The engineer's a brilliant one. She thinks we'll get visuals on things we can't even predict. This launch unit, have you seen the specs? The biggest thing they've ever shot into space. We had to pull physicists out of retirement for this big son of a gun. Like launching the Washington Monument out of the atmosphere. So I can get enough momentum to go far enough, fast enough to make it. All this for Sajida to kick off and send the rest burning up on re-entry. A monument burning into nothing to get me there. Your name is gonna be immortal. You know that? Just you wait. You're gonna be a constellation. <laughs> Think so? And you know, a lot of people will benefit from this. More than you realize. More than that engineer of yours might realize. It's kind of a contradiction, isn't it? What is? I've met her. We share an alma mater and we're honestly good friends. So sometimes I get a little frustrated and don't know how to bring it up. But she has that incredible mind of hers. But she doesn't let these ideas reach their full potential. She thinks she's the only one who can think this big, which, fair play, she certainly is the first to make it work, but that doesn't mean she's an island. Where would she be without other people? Without people like you? Now, this space project is a step in the right direction. Sajda wouldn't have happened without collaboration, government grants. But imagine what she could be, what they could be, what we could be. If more people could play with these toys and we made them truly free, think what she could reach then. You're getting a little outside my wheelhouse. I could maybe talk to her, I guess. Oh, that'd be super. Or you could just let a friend have a look. Hmm. I think I've hit my limit. Need to keep my intake controlled for the mission. Of course. Just consider it. Even if I would, what could you even offer me compared to what I'm getting? Fame can fade. Life is long and strange. Capital is dependable. You're talking to the wrong person. The next session is going to be a long one. We'll be going under the last layers of muscle to insert the final filament walls. So more pain. Mm, yes. That's just a lot simpler than trying to remember about filament watsits and muscle layers <laughs> and everything. I'll take a shot before I come in. I can have something for you here. What do you prefer? Are you serious? <laughs> for you? Of course. Uh, whiskey person or are you more of a rum woman? Oh, tequila, personally. I always have been. Used to be I could put it away like water till my eyeballs were floating. Stagger my way to bed at night and stagger into work the next morning, still drunk. It's a miracle I've made it this far. Well, with any luck and more than a little bit of skill, we'll make sure you make it even further. What about you, Doc? 
me. I guess I'll be here as long as I can too. Same as anyone else, really. It's a miracle I've made it this far too, for different reasons. No, I meant drinking. What's your poison? Uh, I, I don't drink. Never. I worry it could be laced with something. <laughs> Even if you buy it from the store? I guess not. I guess I just prefer to stay on. Uh, getting drunk or high or anything, it would leave me open. I could let myself down. I could let you down. We have to get it right. You sound like you'd be a hell as a boss. <laughs> My passion doesn't leave a lot of room for recreation. You just tinker away 24-7. I do clock out sometimes. I guess I have hobbies. I read. That it? Well, there's one other thing. Don't laugh. I won't laugh. It's so... I, I, it's going to be anticlimactic. I'm building it up too much. I play video games a lot. <laughs> Keeps the reflexes up. <laughs> You're online at like 3 in the morning, screaming at some kid across the globe on Call of Duty? <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. Never online. That's too great of a risk. I play... I just play fighting games against the computer, nothing but button smashing. It smooths out the brain for a little bit, then I'm back at the drawing board, making fixes. Well, hey, when we finish this, let's go get a drink somewhere. And then we'll play some of your video games to celebrate. I like that. Injecting in three, two... That die will help me locate points to focus the next round of injections. Then those joints should be fixed and working more in line with how they should. I trust you. You know, I'm not looking to get fixed or anything, right? Oh, uh, of course not. Yeah, it's, again, I trust you just wanted to say it, to have said it. Uh, of course. You're not fixing me. And I'm not some kind of isolated case. There's not an age limit or a size limit on this thing. There's no single demographic for it. It's just part of my life. And these injections, these changes, they're great. But they're not me. I am me. Okay. Just wanted to put it out there so we know where we stand. That F word bothers me. Yes, I... I'm... I am sorry for implying I might be fixing you. You were right to say something. Thank you. I know. You're good. Don't worry about it. Gin. I used to drink gin. <laughs> you drank Christmas trees. <laughs> I did. The burn was part of the fun. This next one is going to sting. The gossamers are the body, and the seam is the brain. And in the space between them, well, something new is happening. We're understanding it day by day. But it's not actually all that new, is it? Shifts happening inside someone, the changing of the self. Sometimes, sometimes, an engine does not mesh with the body of a vehicle. A program is incompatible with the hardware. The formats do not sync up. Nothing is intrinsically wrong with the engine, nor the vehicle, one system or another. They are simply not simpatico. But we as humans are blessed in that when we have mismatched aspects, we can address them. And we, as humans, have the cognition to know when the pieces, through no fault of their own or our own, do not quite fit. It's not that things are wrong, they're just not quite right. And we can make the adjustment, mentally and physically, alter the self to fit with the self, with our bodies, with our organs, with ourselves in the mirror, with our names, or with others in space, in the world at large. Let the universe see us and be seen by us. Sagitta. Find the secrets in the heart of space and show us how far the body can go too. We redefine the body, redefine the self, and redefine space. The body and the mind becoming boundaryless. 
We'll see what we can be, and then we'll see what we are. What we are now. You might need to actually get some sleep at some point tonight. Big day tomorrow. The big day's coming in the same number of minutes. <laughs> Whether I'm awake or not, let it come. I can sleep on the flight. Your monitor might get pretty annoyed if you sleep through the mission. <laughs> well, I'm sure we can work something out. You're shaking. It's nothing. You're nervous. I'm nervous too. Just excited. Look at us like children on Christmas Eve. It's going to be okay. I'll have you the whole time. I know. Just a few months. Just think of it as a few months. Just a number of months that can only go down. We can do this. Think of what we're doing. That's why I'm shaking. There's fear, sure. There's this longing we both know is on its way. And also... What else? There's the gravity. There's the power of what we're doing here. The future is pulling us toward it. There's no way around it, is there? Just going through, above, and beyond. A direction's relative in space, but you get what I mean. That's a stupid joke. <laughs> Mine tend to be. Like I don't know that. <laughs> You've got it all figured out. Now when I'm gone... Okay, hold on. I'm just going to say, when I'm gone, don't work too hard. Get back to your hobbies, watch movies, socialize, enjoy things I'll be missing. Don't seal yourself up to match me, okay? Of course, don't worry. You'll have so much catching up to do, I'll keep diligent records. <laughs> you should win a Nobel for going through this. We'll split it. It's going to be okay. Yes. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of you. And I'm sorry, but I think it's time for bed. Come to bed. Tomorrow won't wait. This sure is something else. I got feelings, sensations so small. I never knew that details could be that small. This is like learning that there are new colors. I can do shit no one else at work can swing. I'm pulling weight like a bull. I'm seeing depth like a hawk. I take a shower. I can see the water drops one by one. I can count those suckers. Any drawbacks? Motor control hiccups, false signals, phantom limb feedback? A little tightness at the shoulder. Sort of chafe sometimes, but it's not too bad. I'll look at it. It's nothing new. We're not done until it's perfect. <laughs> What's perfect? I'm good. I'll let you look at it. Sure. But listen, I am good. Not that I have lost anything. But now I am more than I was. More than anyone was. More than anyone's ever been. More than you even? <sighs> of course. <laughs> I was just joking. Well, I wasn't. The light bulb didn't matter until someone turned it on. Hey, you see how they're sending a gossamer off into space? Crazy. All while people starve down here on Earth. Not a fan of space? Of course I am. Who looks up in the sky and sees that gentle emptiness and doesn't want to explore it? But we have just as many mysteries in us. And when we solve those, we will take notice and improve. But space, <laughs> unless I'm wrong, which does happen, space will remain space. I'd rather find the treasures in our own mysteries and bring them to the world that needs them. When will it be done? Never. It's never done. Until the universe stops turning. Sajida. Sajida is launching. Soon. The world will see us strive for these new heights. The reach extending. The sky opening. Heaven's walls come crumbling down. Sagita will crest the peak of creation. Upward and inward. Exploration and integration. Sagita breathes with its seam. Sagita and her astronaut allow each other to breathe. Breathe in like this. Breathe out like that. I have a job to do. I am the monitor. I will be in communication with her every day and that kindness keeps me sane. 
my North Star guiding me into the unknown, guiding us into progress. I just hope I can guide her home. Somewhere a child is watching this. A child will see what's done today and they will think, I want to do that. And then, after they've sat with this for years, they'll think, I can do better. And what is better? Better for everyone? Better for the world? Better for the bank account? Better can be dangerous. When you move in any direction, you leave some place behind. Five. When you return. Four. I will monitor the job. Three. Be guided home, please. Two. Life will be better. One. And I will not let go. Trust I won't let go. Lift off. I got rights, you know. I'm a citizen. I deserve some representation here. You can't just pull me out of my home like this. It's been hours. I think. Hello? You took my phone. My watch. I have no idea what's going on. Won't someone come talk to me? Do you even need a phone anymore? Who are you? Why do you put me here? To you, I am a resource. The question really is, what are you? Because those rights you mentioned, those are only for specific human citizens of this country, as we define it. The hell do you mean? You were on record conferring with a dangerous domestic terrorist, a known cyber criminal with years of transgressive activity, and you yourself are no stranger to that behavior. Now, you aren't a terrorist yet, technically, but we saw some socialist leanings in your past, attended several protests, an awful lot of interest in unions. It's not a very patriotic look. I'm not worth all this. I'm nobody. Ordinarily, I'd agree with you. But your meetings with this person of interest have actually made you into something quite valuable. All the goodies that were put inside you. As if we haven't been scanning you and running tests this entire time you've been here. Which, to be clear, has not been hours. It has been days. I just wanted something to help me get through the day. Just some honest to God relief and, and this stuff isn't mine to give. I told them they could trust me. I gave my word. Are you sure there's not a little wiggle room? It pays to have friends. And this friend pays deliciously. And I have friends everywhere. Halliburton, Endolite, Homeland Security, the Gossamers, the Sagita Project. Resources that could really fix you. What good is that new arm if you can't reach out and touch anyone? And as long as you're in here, You'll be out of everyone's reach. I want no part in this. This is me. And this me is mine. So you take all your money and your friends and all of you all together can kiss my ass. Okay. It's just fine you don't want to give. That's what taking is for. It's funny. There was a late night talk show on, I forget which one, but the host, he joked, 
could I get a gossamer that's just a tank with a jacuzzi inside? And the audience laughed, and he laughed, and I laughed when my sister sent me the clip. I laughed because the juxtaposition of all the things gossamers could be and his idea of what they could be were so far apart that they actually looped back around to being similar. Is that what they are? What else could fit under the name gossamer? If I were to cut off my arm and replace it with a gossamer-coated arm, with the same response system, speaking the same language, would it be an arm or would it be a gossamer? Would I be a seam? Gossamer unit lefty. Gossamer unit southpaw, maybe, if I were a boxer. Well, I guess I could be then, even if I wasn't already. I just have to make sure I hit first. But I could drop it all today and become a boxer without losing a hand. And the body has been changeable before. Gossamers didn't do that. Just people. When do we, as humans, stop adapting? When are we out of beta? This begs the question if we are approaching life as a utility or as a game. Surely it's a little of both. Surely neither one suffices. Whatever we are, and whatever I've made, one thing's constant. There's always tomorrow's changes. Maybe that's what the gossamers are when you boil it down. Potential. Or another way to reach what we could have been. They have made their maker proud. Being real means we've seen them, and now we've grown attached. As I pass them in the hangar, I am always unable to suppress a greeting. I say hello to them. I nod my head in recognition. And I see others do it too. Civilians. Their own seams. We give agency so quickly. And so entirely. But it's not such a surprise. Not with the Gossamers, at least. They have our shape. So it's not unrealistic to think. We might have given them some of our soul. Beautiful footage today from Gossamer Sagitta and its intrepid seam. High definition images of Jupiter. Clear and pristine. Look at that clarity mark. My god, that could be my backyard. Coasting by, just coasting by. And the gravity of this giant. The greatest mass in the entire system. Beyond anything we imagined. Now in Sagitta's rear view. As she cruises onward. On. To the grand deep unknown. I need you to respond. I need confirmation you're still operating. Please. I gave you the resources. I gave you ways to contact me. I know I made it clear how important it was to... I do know. I do know this. And I trust you. And I know you are smart and capable and thorough as well. That's how we were able to do this. So I have to ask you. Since you've disappeared on me since you, for all intents and purposes, vanished into smoke, all I can do is hope that you've let me down. Tell me you're just busy being lazy and you're enjoying your new situation, you're lost in the fun of it all, you're on a joyride with all those new nerves, and you've forgotten to contact me. God, I hope that's all it is. Let me be disappointed and not horrified. Let me know you're alive. Please, your survival is imperative, not for the project, not for the research, but it's imperative because you deserve it. You have earned happiness, and if I have somehow cost you that, I don't know what I'll do. I won't take long. Thank you for meeting with me. Oh, of course. You're indispensable. If you've noticed anything wrong with Sagitta, you bring it right to me. Nothing's wrong with Sagitta. Yet. Then what seems to be the problem? There's... potential. I'm worried about the potential. For any number of problems, and if they happen, the unit is getting further and further away from us. It's already beyond reasonable reach. Soon it will be beyond theoretical reach, too. We're running out of hypothetical. The Gossamer was designed with these potentials in mind. It has dozens of life support fail-safes. It could survive a month on total power failure. 
We tested it, we built it, we double-checked. If something goes wrong, we'll walk the seam through repairs. And if the seam can't do it? Are you sure you didn't notice anything specific? Yes, I'm sure. Right now, you are right. Right now, everything is fine with the machine and with the seam. All systems are stable, strong even, but all due respect. Oh, we don't need to do that. All due respect. There can't be nothing to look out for. There has to be something that could go wrong. I'm used to people, scientists, sure, experts, yes, but people all the same who believe that if they dream big enough and loud enough, then they'll just will little green men into existence. But no matter how hard and strong their faith was, the broadcasts from other worlds failed to appear. And all their broadcasts, as full as they were with hope and resolve and fervent certainty we weren't alone, all of the broadcasts remained unanswered. Maybe some static or some sort of echo coming off an asteroid, but nothing really concrete. Theirs was a mistake of assuming there was more than we could prove. Yours is the opposite. We can't account for the unknown. You're right. I can't. But I'm confident we are as close as possible. And I'm confident we have as many tools and options as possible to make sure that if the unknown comes... When? Fair enough. When the unknown comes, we'll rise to meet it. We'll adapt, and your wife will make it home safe. Trust me. I want to. But... But your job is to foresee problems. You can't help it. I worry. I get it. I don't know how you can. Do you know how the Gossamer's engine runs? Not the mechanics, really, but the rhythm. I don't. It's a mirror of my heartbeat. I was stuck at a dead end for how to install an internal rhythm for them, and it hit me. We have a great one. So I synced us up. Every gossamer, each and every one, is repeating my own heartbeat. And when it thumps in my chest, I know it's thumping in theirs too. The engines and receptors pumping in time. It's not easy to ask this of you or her. But we do it anyway. We send something with our own heart out into that unknown because they'll come back. We've done the math. People like us, we know not to leave it to chance. So that's it? Just trust it'll all work out? No, just trust yourself to do your job and catch anything that goes wrong, and trust me to have seen it coming beforehand. I hate to do this, but I have a meeting I have to get to. Listen, I understand this conversation isn't over. Let's pick it up again sometime. You're right to worry. I'm not telling you to stop. But we are in control, okay? Bang! Did you see that? That was so cool. That was all me. That's a high score. <laughs> That's a high score for sure. It still kind of sounds stupid, but Dad, uh, the commander says it'll help morale to call it a high score. But I know what it really was. A totally successful strike. Look at me, dude. Look at me. A hero! If I ever have to go back to school, I'm gonna be the coolest person ever. A war hero before I can legally drink. Before I can drive. Before any of that. I am the best weapon in the world. I gotta be on the news any day now. I'm doing so, so good. Unit Cerberus and I are heroes. And no one can stop that. I run and I jump and I swing my fists, I shoot those guns and I rain fire down on my enemies, on this nation's enemies, on every enemy I am told. This is what a hero looks like. Dad says I have something really special. He says I have an opportunity to serve this country and make everyone proud to keep people safe from enemies. I asked him what enemies he meant. He said, all kinds. Enemies we don't even know yet. He says he pulled a lot of strings to get me my tests. He said they had applicants in the thousands, but the scientists say the strain for combat, the strain is too much for an old brain. It needs someone young to grow with, someone pumping up energy, someone who's growing up, not growing old. The weapon wants the future, so I give it mine. It's an easy life. Tell that to the other kids. This isn't even hard. Most of the time. I just get to stay in my room, watch TV, play games, read. I let them watch me and run their tests and whatever. They bring the food to my room. 
I can't leave the room yet unless it's a mission. They don't want anything to distract me and affect performance. I just hang out until the alarm hits. Then BAM! I am ready! I am up! I am out! And we are tearing things up! This is my life now. They say I'll have this job until the Gossamers get upgraded for adult use, or until I die, which will be never, of course, because I'm the pilot. I'm outclassing guys who are on their, like, fifth tour. I'm an ace, and I'm keeping people safe. For everyone I kill, for every bloody little face I see from far away with nothing in their eyes, no one home, I sit inside the Gossamer, and remember, that's not one of us. That's no one to me. That's what a weapon does, and I am so dangerous. And once they figure out how to make me sleep a whole night, once they override my brain, I'll be top of the world. Woo! All right! I'm alive! I'm the best Gossamer pilot here! Gotta hang up now. See you later. Tell everyone at school to remember me. Peace! And in other news, in more somber news. Elsewhere in the news. Tragedy. Horrible scene. After successful deployment abroad. Civilian death toll rises. And not civilians, protesters. Dead no matter what. Protests grew violent. would not peacefully disperse. Gossamer units Cerberus Gossamer on units. domestic Gossamer soil. Gossamer units on Cerberus domestic on soil. domestic soil. Look at that design. Vicious. Breathtaking. No statement has been issued. We have reports there are others. More that, of these. A whole new line. You didn't tell me this is what you'd build. Don't be so sour. You got what you were promised, and not a penny less. What are you so worried about? It's in the right hands. I should have known. Maybe I did know, but I was just comfortable in my own life. Things were good. We were doing so well. I should have known. I never should have taken my eye off how the Gossmers were perceived, who was looking, who was watching. The way it moved is how I knew. The fluidity in the joints. That's a Gossamer movement pattern. That's my movement pattern. That's my thumbprint on those corpses. Those graves are dug because of me. Well, at least we agree now. You gave them a new language, so they made new obscenities. Same as it ever was. They probably have fleets of them. We have to stop them. Destroy them. How do you plan to do that? I could build other ones. Stronger ones. Those are just cheap knockoffs. Imitations. They want a war machine, I'll show them a war machine. So then they can imitate that? I bet if you came forward, they'd still give you a job. You can make a tidy little sum out of this. Please do not mock me. I promise you, I'm not enjoying it. The powers that be have always had you right where they wanted you. Because if they didn't, you'd never have gotten there in the first place. Say I agree to help you. Say we agree to build a bigger gun than theirs. How do we do that? Do you have the money needed to build a gossamer? Do you have the resources, the facilities? Do you have the anyone who's out of knowing who you're going against? Can't you help me? I want to. I do. 
But I can't put your fires out, and nothing can unlight them. How badly do you want to undo this? How much are you willing to unbuild? I can't stop thinking of it as sky. <laughs> I see this blackness, a dark that is tangible, and I see the stars, and I see the stuff out that we used to think of as celestial bodies. <sighs> and I still think, what a beautiful sky. <sighs> we will be in viewing range of Saturn in 48 hours. <laughs> um, Sagittarius systems are stable. Optimal, even. Uh, fuel output adjusting to all the trace gravities. Neurolace is keeping me stable. My vitals are good. Heart rate good. Metabolism unfazed. Blood pressure a little high, but I think we can chalk that up to my excitement. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this well rested. Uh, Sagitta really gets me. I don't know how she built this thing to give it so much, uh, intuition, maybe, but Sajida just gets me. <sighs> I know it's late back home, so I'm not expecting a response. You'll get me when you wake up. But I was wondering, if possible, if you could, in 48 hours, when I do come up on Saturn, would you mind staying up to watch with me? I don't mind the being alone. It's not that. I just... I think you'd like seeing it. Live and in the moment, not on replay with everyone else in the world. The moon was one thing, but this... This will be something. We're in new. And the world will get it later, but for a little bit, it could be ours. Just ours. If you can't make it, or just don't feel like staying up that late, that's okay. <laughs> I'll understand. It'll be late. But in case you do, I'd like that. Sorry for the trouble. You didn't cause any trouble. I'm glad you finally found a way to reach me. I was terrified. I had no idea what to or where to... I was sure I'd never hear from you again. I tried to find you. I could be in jail for about nine lifetimes for all the ways I tried to find you. I didn't say a word to them. I didn't say anything about you. But I didn't need to. They told me about you. You told me your names, showed me pictures, but I never said anything. Never yes or no. I swallow it lasted. We could do the procedure again. I could replace it all. It ain't the not having it. That's something I was used to. What gets me is that I'm not allowed to decide what I am. What really gets me is I have no say. I get it, I lose it, I get it again, it's taken. Like Lucy with the football. What a gag. The people that did this to you, I'll find them. Somehow, I'll find them and I'll get them back. This isn't over. Hey, do what you want. Give them hell. They were a lot less gentle than you were. Your thing hurt, but those people, they were wounding me. More power to you, you want to fight them, but I'm going home. I'll be fine. Pissed off, probably on some government list now. Probably can't fly anymore, but fine. But they hurt you. Of course. I'm not the kind of person society lets jump ahead. So I got shoved to the back of the line. It's nothing new. How can you be so... Why aren't you angrier? Because I've got no one to take it out on besides me. And I really don't deserve that. I'll make it work for me one way or another. I can't see myself as trapped in here. I see this as a home. And if it doesn't work, then we'll work it out. You are under arrest for domestic terrorism.
You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to... Oh, who cares? None of that matters now. Get up. Hey, get up. You're coming with us. I understand. Oh, she understands. She understands. Understand this. Some harsh truths, big brain. Mm -hmm. Should have known when to quit. What kind of money you could be making and you want to cause trouble. Glad she understands because I tell you, I sure think do Think she's a real spy. A real rebel. Like she could ever hide. If there's anywhere left to hide from us. We are the country. We are the land. Every time your foot hits the ground, that's our property. Could have played nice and been rewarded. But no. Had to be well, right. Well, being right taste? A lot like blood. Come yeah. on, big brain. Let me get a picture. My son's got a poster of Luna over his bed. He'll love this. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> Is there an objective here? Wow, someone's cranky. Rude after getting woken up, huh? Smug. Just because she saw some doodad no one else saw, she thinks she's special. Well, sorry, but the law doesn't care how smart you are. If you're dumb enough to mess with Uncle Sam, we don't care. Well, at least we agree there. I've been stupid, intolerably stupid, to think this world would ever keep anything free from blood. Blood moves the world, I guess. Oh, boo-hoo, someone's a sore loser. Those new gossamers were badass. You wish you'd built them. Those are going to be the only ones that anyone remembers. Well, hey, get some rest now. Back to dreamland, genius. Tell yourself you'll figure it out. Who's there? You can trust me. I know I can trust you. You knocked instead of kicking down the door. What do you want? You've seen the news? Yes, it's all nightmares all the way down. You saw they arrested? I've seen it all. Now tell me something I don't already know. Who are you? I worked... I still work on. I'm the monitor on the Sagitta project. I work with the Gossamers. <laughs> you need to help her! I did something terrible! And now all this... Really? I was worried about what would happen if Sagitta failed. If we lost her, my life would be over. My wife is the same, and I was worried in the time she's gone, the whole world could change, already has changed, and I was a little, I don't know, resentful that she was going, and she sent her out there, and I was left with nothing. So you... Did something. Something terrible, yes, you said? I made a deal. I just made a deal to have a conversation, to talk about the Gossamers, and send over a few scans... In total, I think, an hour of my time. And they took it from there. They promised me money, yes, and assurance. They promised me Sagitta would turn around and have extra support to bring her back. But they've stopped talking about that. Instead, they built these new gossamers we're seeing now. Seems like every major city has one, and all because I wanted to get mine. Well... <sighs> You've got yours now. I know, I made a mistake. And you want amnesty? Just because you know you made a mistake? I want to make it right. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm here. I'm putting forth effort. You're a hard person to find. I try to be. But I still found you. I still found you in this nowhere motel you're hiding in. Because I'm putting in the work. So you want to help? Great. What did you have in mind? We have to get to her. I know where they're keeping her. The executive I talked to, she told me where they're based, even for the dark stuff. Break her out of prison? You'll have an easier time inventing time travel. You can think of something. Me? Yes, it has to be you. They told me about you. About your projects, about how you were building crazy stuff with people's bodies, too. Some project they stopped. Oh? That's just what she told me. I see. So the people you're working with, they're everywhere, in everything. Of course they are. I live every day on pretty much every watch list in the country. I would be risking everything for you, who I don't even know, for her, whose naive scribbles caused this mess. The way I see it, you're both stooges. You got played because you were stupid and selfish enough to let yourselves get played. And even if you hadn't given up all the secrets, someone else would have. Being a coward doesn't make you special. Plenty of people have no integrity. Well, sure. The best time to find my spine would have been before I did all this. The second best time is right now. With you. I'll do whatever there is to do. I'll die if I have to. Oh, you'll definitely die. Fine. 
if that's what it takes, but we have to do something. From what I hear, you never liked the Gossamers anyway. That's right. But she has something I don't know. Turning them off is beyond you and me. We can't do that. Then we do something else. Please, there must be other ideas. You're smarter than me. I need your help. I know I'm smarter than you. But that doesn't help me being smarter than you, does it? No. What good is being smart if all I'm going to do is tell people I was right? You know where she is? I know where she is. That's a start. Good morning, if it is morning. It's my understanding that to send me to DC to stand trial in person would take too long. So after I finish this video testimony, you can judge my case remotely and pronounce me guilty before lunch. And have a record left behind. A body to mount on the castle walls to caution others from trying what I tried. I'm not just a criminal, I'm an example. How efficient. I won't take long. I should have known you'd come for me eventually. I should have known you people would pull it into the mud with you. You corrupt and co-opt what you can't understand. And you still don't understand them, but you've managed to point them at things you have no use for, which you view as the worst quality something can have. I suspect if you couldn't make them bend for you, you would have melted them all into slag in the name of protection. But that's not why we're here, is it? No. No one was going to punish you for that. So I have to be the one to punish you. I was walking down the street the other day. I saw a father carrying his child. And the child was playing with a toy gossamer. A little plastic version of Unit Luna. Cutting the air with her little toy. Immune to the world's problems. This little two-year-old ace pilot. And for a fraction of a second, she looked at me and smiled. <laughs> the stupid smile of a child, indiscriminate, joy for free. But she was smiling at me. And she was holding Unit Luna. She didn't know who I was or why I'd care about Unit Luna. She was just having fun. But it shattered me to think that this little girl might love that toy so much she dreams of it and never lets that dream go and grows up and loves these machines, these great mirrors as I had loved them, as I had always hoped someone else would love them and appreciate them as I had always hoped someone would appreciate them and she follows that dream and ends up as I am it will be my fault. I have doomed her with dreaming. So that's why I was trying to upload a virus to your systems. I wanted to cut every string for those awful monstrosities. That's when you caught me. This is not a confession of guilt. This is an acceptance of responsibility. Gossamer configuration KZ-09-T44 build theta, sharing with all networks, open the last gift, execute gift protocol. Thank you for everything, Dreamer. Now good night. I couldn't destroy the idea. But the Gossamers are tied to me. Luna's heartbeat was built to rhyme with mine. And that same signal runs through every Gossamer. Like every word is made of some part of 26 letters, repeated infinitely, that is the vocabulary. Without it, there is no expressing, no communicating, and the link between gossamers is elusive. It is not physical. 
It's maybe only theoretical, but that's enough because I intend to finish my goal. This frequency, this signal, are the gossamers listening? I know at least one is. The original processor. Unit Luna's original heart that I built on my apartment floor with a screwdriver. I know it is still on. And I know that all the other gossamers, whether they're watching or not, listening to me or not, are listening to each other. And the words I just said in my voice, the voice that turned them on, giving the gift of rest. Those words are a kill code, spreading from my lips to their ears and spreading to each other. No one escapes. You stopped me from doing it to your models when you found me, so now every one of them will have to get hurt. I imagine it's going to be a disaster. I have unmade the system. Every drive is being scrubbed, every operating system ground to nothing, the language smothered out. It was so easy to end them <laughs> in terms of the labor involved. So simple, undone. I couldn't destroy the idea. I wish I could kill my first terrible thought, but thinking that proves I can't. So this was the next best thing. And I know the knowledge is out there. There are no solitary great men of history. I know someone else could figure out the Gossamer model, and someday this will happen again, only worse. This thought will haunt me as long as I'm alive. I am a maker of beasts, and I am responsible. I eagerly await your ruling. Warning! Gossamer is failing. Warning! Signal pattern lost. Synaptic signal interrupted. No response is lost. Neural pathways deconstructed. Error! Seam access rejected. Ejecting. Delphinus performing emergency surfacing. All gossamers are it's opening. Spitting up whoever they held. Error! Warning! Error! Warning! Multiple aircraft crashing Two on foreign soil. Two gossamers have crashed into an oil site. Total system failure. Worldwide malfunction. Get me out of here! Do we have signal on theta score? No ETA. No coordinates. Warning. Lights going out. Systems are all down. Warning. It's empty mountains now. Slain dragons. Warning. The body is not responding. The body is still and our hearts are all going mad. The body is still. We've lost the right to move The body them. is cold. Warning. 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 I hope you get this. <laughs> I don't know what happened here, but something came through this signal. I was fast asleep when I heard the engineer's voice coming through, staticky and rough, and then the whole thing shut down. Sagitta. She's asleep and she's not waking up. All life support systems are still hanging in there. I'm not suffocating yet. I'm not starving yet. But it doesn't seem like I'm going to make it back to you. I'd rather not talk about that. Let's think of something else. Space is big it really humbles you kind of makes me forget what I look like where my body stops and the space outside starts and where Sagitta is in between it all feels of the same piece anything you say any joke you tell any song you sing. Doesn't matter how good or bad you are, this void will not be moved. No laughs, no booze, no feedback of any kind. Just you and yourself.
Sometimes I think you'd have handled this better than me. You were always better than me at knowing what to do on your own. I always needed someone to impress. So, impressed yet? That was a joke. I'll assume you knew it was a joke. You knew it was a joke, and you're laughing like an idiot now. Okay, well, let's envision me coming back. And seeing you. And breaking down crying, and hugging you, even as I'm swarmed with reporters and adoring fans that will pay through the nose for our stories. So we can retire in a week and live our remaining days in a cabin in the mountains. And our remaining days are going to be long because of modern science. So neither one of us ever has to die. I'm looking forward to that. Hope this reaches you. Don't forget what I look like. Love you. Over and out. Whoever's out there, come on in. The only sin here is context, the crime of seeing the whole picture, but all the same. It's the end of my time, I guess. No more moves to make. No more time for any ideas, so put an end to it. Here, not? Here then, okay. This is all very charming and sad, but you need to come with me. You're not- A friend of yours got me in their network. Well, maybe not friend, but she helped. The system is only down for another 40 seconds. Come with me. What you did? I'd rather not. I don't know if I could have done it. To let go? To throw them all back like that? You must have felt like God. They aren't gone. They're done, but they're not gone. We still remember dinosaurs. We even remember things that never were. Unicorns, dragons. They can never be gone. We're not gone either. That's a victory. Now we look for the future, whatever we choose to do with it. The future, the body will adapt, the mind will expand, braided as they are. We could build a better self, we could build a better understanding, we could do. I don't know. We could. We could. Thank you for listening to I Build Giants, presented by Shakespeare Company at UCLA. I Build Giants is directed by Aaron Gray, written by Ryan Stevens. The show is sound designed by Jacob Mankey and produced by Isabel Smith, with additional music by Duncan Smith and artistic material by Urva Shilele. I Build Giants features the voices of Evelyn Coffey as the engineer, Ava Alexiades as the technician, Rachel Stubbington as the executive, Talia Gloucester as the astronaut, Izzy Gillette as the monitor, Isa Urdiales Guzman as the volunteer, and Lucy Urbano as the ace. Follow us on social media at Bruin Bard, or visit our website at bruinbard.com for more information on our future projects.